giving him a wide firm, steady grip on the barrel. Did a great job. Also notice that in order to travel forward, he has to pedal backwards. This is a trained behavior. All the while, he likes to appear at take one or two steps back in order to avoid some kind of danger. But it's uncommon for them to take multiple steps back just like this. He may also be thinking, this must have taken Clover a really long time to learn. He's even added his own little spin to it. coloration that's because she spends a lot of time back there at the bottom. Can you guys please step out a little more? Thank you. Chance to hold a shark in your lap and take some cool photos. And you would also have the opportunity during this program to go snorkeling with all seven nurse sharks out in their lagoon as well. Now from some rain that we've had coming in it is a little bit murky out there so if you did sign up for this program you wouldn't be able to hear that loud popping sound and that is a very powerful section that they use to literally inhale their food with. They can suck a crab or a lobster out of its hiding hole and they can even suck a conch right out of its shell. And like I mentioned before, we do training with our sharks and we do various behaviors which we later incorporate into these shows and also into some interactive programs that we have with our sharks. And a lot of this is for handling. So the sharks are trained to allow us to get hands on with them and we can flip them over belly up. This is actually a very important behavior to their health care because it allows us the opportunity to get full visual examinations over their entire body, including their underside. And this way, if they ever have any cuts or scrapes on Thank you. 